Do you remember yesterday that we put all of our tens together and all of our ones together? Mm -hmm. Remember, we need to stay organized and we need to do the numbers one at a time. Sally has 21 stickers in her sticker book. She gets six more stickers. How many stickers does Sally have now? What are we going to draw first? Just one? What are we going to draw first? Two. Two lines? One circle. Why? Because it says on the first number. Uh huh. Then we do six more. Okay. Very good. So, did you see how he saw 21? So he drew 21. And now we're going to draw six more. But remember, we need to. Stay organized. So I'm going to draw these six over here so that I can stay organized. Okay? So I have 21 plus 6. So what can I put together? The ones place I am going to put together. Okay? So that I'm going to count those together. But what do I have to count first? My tens place. So let's count those together. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. What's my answer? 27. 27. You are exactly right. So do you see how we stayed nice and organized? This is exactly what we did yesterday. I want you to get out your book for the page. What number are we going to draw first? 21. Please go ahead and draw 21. Make sure and stay nice and organized. Keep all of 21 together. Then what are we going to draw? 6. Make sure you put a nice big space between 21 and 6. And just like yesterday, we're going to put our 1's together. And then we found out that 21 plus 6 equals what? 27. So you can write your sum of 27. Oh, I like that. So remember how we just talked before we started our lesson, how I wanted um, the tens digits to stay the same or the tens digit to change? Well, she realized that if my answer is 27, that my tens place did not change. And I'm glad that you noticed that because today it's going to. Okay, it's going to be a little tricky. I want you to turn your paper over. Okay. <clears throat> My problem is 37 plus 8. And remember how before we've taken parts from other numbers to make it easier on ourselves? Okay. So we're going to do that today. But we are going to make 10. What are we going to do? Make 10. Make 10. So, um, 37 is a big number, but then adding 8 more can be kind of complicated, even if we do it on the hundreds number chart. So, we're going to have to stay organized. Okay? So first what we are going to do is we are going to um, draw our numbers, right? So let's draw 37. Now, they've already drawn it for us, 
but what we can, can we do? We could trace over it, okay? So that we know that why we're doing it, okay? So let's go ahead and draw 37. It's pretty easy because it tells us how many tens to draw. How many tens are we going to draw? Three. Three, and then it tells us how many ones to draw. How many ones are we going to draw? How many? Seven. We have to do our 37 first. We have to finish that first before we can move on because otherwise we are not we're not stay organized. Okay? So now that I finished my number 37, I've done three tens and seven ones. I want to do what? I want. The extra ones, which is the number eight. Okay, so now I'm going to give myself a little bit of space and I'm going to draw eight more circles. Does everyone see how we got our drawing? Okay, first grade, look at my ones. Did I just draw a lot of circles? No. I feel like we drew quite a lot of circles. What is something we could do to make it easier on ourselves? What can we do? We could circle them Are to make it easier, okay? But I don't want to just circle all of them. What was our what was the, what were we going to be talking about today? Or so, stay organized. Stay organized and making how many? Ten. Ten. So you need to circle one. So I no, not just circle one. I want to circle how many? Ten. Ten. So do you see how they moved this picture right here over here? Do you see how they moved that? Okay. So. What they did was they circled 10 of the extra ones. So go ahead and do that in the next one. I want you to circle 10 of the extra ones. Did everyone do that? Yes. Now first grade. If I stack these together, what are these going to look like? It's going to look like 10. So instead of three tens, now I have ten. four, four tens. tens. So do you see how now they put these together to make a 10? So now they've moved it over again, over, whoops, over here, huh, maybe. I moved it over here, but I put my tens together. So I've got, the, I've got these ones, these three ones, or these three tens, excuse me, and then this is my extra ten. How many did I not circle? So I still have those five. Does everyone see what we did? Yes. Is this a lot easier to count than this? Yes. I think it is because we don't have as many ones. Because sometimes we can get off one or two numbers when we draw because we have so many things that we've drawn. So it's a lot easier to make a 10 and put that stack together so that we can count that quicker and then not have as many ones. Does everyone see what we did? Yes. Okay. So we changed 37 plus 8 to 40 plus 5. Is it easier to think of what 40 plus 5 equals? Some of you said it in your brain very quickly just now. The answer. Did you say the answer in your brain when you saw 37 plus 8? Did you know the answer like that? Mm -hmm. No, we didn't. 
it was a lot more difficult. But when we saw 40 plus 5, it made it a lot faster and a lot easier because what did we do? We, we circled. We circled. Only okay. 10. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. If we have a lot of extra ones floating around, what are we going to do? Put them, Put them together in groups of 10. Now, did I have enough to make another group of 10? No, I didn't. So what did I do with those? I just left them alone, right? So if I can't make 10, can I circle them? No. So let's pretend it made nine. Can I circle them? No. No, because it didn't make ten. Okay? So the whole point today is to make it easier on ourselves by making ten. We're going to use all of our extra ones to make ten. 